is this great? Next we have Sheikla and whoa. Sorry about that, buddy. Let's just put you right back on over here. You already had your review. We're moving on. <laughs> look how cool this looks. Doesn't it look awesome? This beautiful artwork. Let me raise this just a bit. Beautiful artwork. Look at that. Then we have Jeff here. Doesn't that look absolutely outstanding? Beautiful artwork. Look at that. Beautiful artwork. And I love the way it's kind of outlined with this orange meeting the red where it kind of outlines the body. That looks cool. And look at this kind of cool pose right here. And that looks cool. So again, here's everybody that's in the set. And she comes with number three, which would be the right arm of Marvel. I'm sorry, of, uh, yeah, Marvel's strong guy. Let's see. There it is. So let's get her on out of here. Let's take a look. All right. Here we go. Perfect. And then you can kind of see the warp on how this box kind of pushed in. Increased right there. You know what? At least I found them, right? Cool Deadpool logos back there. And let's get a little closer now. This huge arm. And look how big it is compared to her. From where her shoulder would be. It's not quite the length of her body, but it's like more than half. Set that aside and it's heavy. And actually, let me take a look at him. And he's not poseable. Actually looks like a big chunk of clay. Even though he's not not poseable but still cool. It'd be awesome if we can open the mouth. Maybe even move the legs a little bit. We can't, but doesn't that look awesome? So, digging that. Look at that. <laughs> so, took a couple quick pictures. Set them aside. And let's get her on out. Let's push her out, set this aside. Okay, nice. And look at this head sculpt. We got a little bit right there that we can probably just get right on off. Look at her hair her bangs coming down right here. This necklace kind of, uh, you know, moves around a lot obviously because it's not heavy and um, it's not glued down. She has this. Be careful because it's soft and you could accidentally tear it off. And let's see, the hair is not as soft as it, you can move it, but it's not as soft as you might think it is. So it is going to limit mobility of the head. See? You can still turn it well, but then it starts to lean as it pushes against the body. Okay? Same thing here with the. Wow! What is this pattern right here? Look at this. Skulls, maybe? Interesting pattern on, on her body. It's on the front only. The golden black looks cool. Let's see the shoulders. Uh, depending on, they might hit a little bit. Let's see, but they do end up going about that far in. And this, this is cloth, so that's cool. I'm glad it's not plastic. And it's been a while since we had something that's cloth on a Marvel Legend. Let's see, we do have single joints right here at the elbows. It's cool how this connects right here. Let me get you closer. I wonder if this is elastic. No, it's not. It's rope, uh, but still cool. A little bit of paint bleed right here, smudge. So I can just scratch that off. This right here is not glued down, so it can move. And the arms come out to about a 90 degree angle. Um, we are used to seeing these hands. We've seen these on female characters many times before. Kind of like um, MJ and um, the two-pack they had for um, Spider-Man Homecoming. And so this turns. Looks cool. The paint looks pretty much digging it. Uh, she turns up here at the rib cage, and this is where her ab crunch would be, and turns enough. This paint looks cool. Glossy finish. 
glossy here and only semi-glossy, that's interesting. And then of course the legs do come up to 90 degree angles. That's good. I like the way the boots look and definitely the huge heel. Look at that. The place for a hopeful peg. Um, let's see. All right, cool. Turns the high part of the thigh and kicks slightly higher than, well, I guess it is a 90 degree angle. We have double joints at the knees, but they are kind of, look at that, kind of like gummy instead of being strong and solid. So that is something to note. And um, yeah, bring this back over here. But definitely an awesome looking figure. I love the way this looks. We could probably have her like floating with a, with a stand. And that might be helpful, especially considering, oof, these knee joints are gonna be difficult to stand her with barely this much. So that's probably why she has that. So we can aid in the standing. And having her like hovering or flying would be probably best. It is gonna be difficult to stand her with this. So let me see what I can do. And maybe I'll use that action figure, uh, dynamic action figure stand. So give me a second. Okay, it looks like I have something that will definitely work well enough. I wanted her kind of like floating, hovering. And take a look at this. What are your thoughts on that? Look at that. It works well. And let's take a 360 look. So, this side, and this guy. Like so. Right in the middle, right here. And you know what? Let's go higher. And zoom in a bit. And let's see how that looks. Yeah, it looks pretty awesome. What do you guys think? Right. Looks pretty awesome. And you know what? Take a look at this. <laughs> All right, isn't that cool? Awesome. Okay, let's move on. We can put these maybe right here. Put her like that. Doesn't that look outstanding? Absolutely. 